Hello everyone, welcome back. For all of y'all that are new to the channel, welcome to MDLR Fishing. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, if you haven't noticed already, we're at the Surfside Jetty in Freeport, Texas, and we're gonna try our hand for a jack, maybe some Spanish mackerel. As it stands lately, I've got a love-hate relationship with both of these jetties. And uh, it's just because five skunks in a row. Hopefully we can change that and uh, put one in the bag. So, uh, oh, you know what? Hold on just a second. Check out who we got here. Oh, right yeah, there, Fish and Trips. Fish and Trips in the house. We made it, baby. <laughs> Mom, I told you I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the audience. Five seconds, go. Five seconds. Hey, look, come check out my channel. You love my video. Subscribe, okay? If you don't, just blame Mark. He gave me the reference. <laughs> if you don't know Fish and Trips, check him out. He's going to be linked down below. Show him some love. Subscribe to that channel. I, I'm fairly confident you're going to enjoy his personality. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, get started. Long intro. I'm just walking out, and someone's already bent up out here on the rocks. He's got something nice and big. My guess is a red. Red or a jack, do you think? Oh, a stingray? I hope it's not no stingray. <laughs> All right, well, this is unofficial catch right here. Good job. Here you go. Uh, yeah, if you yeah. want it. Yeah. All right. There we are. Unofficial catch. Just the net job is getting the blood pumping because we know they're out here now. We'll start things out with the salt native right there, Mad Minnow. This should be able to get some Spanish mackerel if they're out there, possibly even some speckled trout. Let's get this guy tied on. Hopefully he's going to be able to re-up that one and uh, bring it, bring something in or at least get a chance to fight it a lot longer. All right, we're gonna put the Mad Minnow away now and uh, definitely swap out spoons. Let's get it ready. Let's throw us a two ouncer. That's usually the largest. Oh, you know what? We do not carry, we didn't carry any two ounces out here, I don't think. No, we did not. Oh my gosh, this might be this may be disastrous, y'all. Oh, I do. I have one. Woo, buddy. Thank goodness. Usually I'll get these boxes ready to go well in advance, but yesterday I was like, it's ready from the last trip. Little did I know I didn't put any brand new two ounce spoons in here. That's a bummer. I have no idea what that is, but got something. There's no head shakes or anything like that. I gotta, I mean, it's got to be something that is just snagged maybe? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? How is it that a stingray is gonna bite our line, y'all? We must have just snagged the fella or something. Yeah, we snagged this guy. All right, buddy, I am very sorry. I mean, I did not mean to do this to you. So thank goodness for the other jetty anglers out here. It's not the most idea solution to the problem, but it's either let this guy stay in here and die, or uh, we puncture him through the mouth or wherever we can get him, and he goes away limping with the wound. All right, buddy. Let's wait for that swell to go down. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ready? We're going to wait for a swell, bro. Okay, here comes that swell. You got to get ready. 
And there he goes. There he goes. Come on. Come on. You can make it, bro. Don't stop right there. I don't want to puncture you again. <clears throat> there he goes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it. You can do it. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so... There it is. There it is. Dude. That, that is the... That's absolutely the worst thing that can happen to you when you don't bring a net, you don't have a gaff, you forgot your boga in the truck. Man, this video may just be that right there alone. You want a rod? <laughs> I just snapped that photo, I'm gonna send it to my dad, man. All right. He's gonna, he's gonna be happy. I, I'm not kidding you. I got that rod over there that's my Stella is on. It's yours what if you, you want it. Have, I would love it, man. It, yeah, yeah, man. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Hey, uh, you can snap that photo real quick, and then you'll be on your way, man. I appreciate I, it. Me and my dad saw you out here probably about two years ago. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And then uh, I was like, man, I swear that's that guy. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Dude, you saved me, man. I, I was like feeling that's bad good. because that ray was huge and yeah, in, in them rocks I was like gosh that freaking turd yeah all right Raphael if you're watching bro thank you so much for letting me use that that gaff I'm pretty sure the uh, the ray definitely appreciates you letting me use it and this right here is the rod that I'm gonna give him if he chooses to uh, keep it old 18 cat shot yeah I'll give it to him for saving that fish like I've snagged a lot of fish in my time, but never something like that and that big. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. We are going to shift gears completely. I'm going to go like super light. And I may not have the right setup to cast this thing out there. Um... Yeah, I don't think the bait caster is going to get it done. Let's take off this since we got a spinning reel. That's probably going to be my best shot at getting this next lure out there. And y'all are going to laugh as soon as you see it. But then I'll have the last laugh if I catch something. <laughs> if I catch something with it. Okay, just wait for it. Let's clip this off first. Wait for it. BAM! The Bugs Clickbait Shrimp. Let's see if we can... Maybe full of sheep's head. I've also caught pompano off of one of these before as well. Um, but it was in July time frame, not right now. I'm not saying that I'm, gonna, I'm going after pompano right now, but what I am saying is let's see if we can just pull something in the bite and anything that's close up to the rocks. I mean... We are in desperation mode right now. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting to get that far. It's a good 15, 20 yards. I'm going to let it just fall. It's going to take forever for that thing to sink. Hey, look at that. We got him. Fooled him. Get over here, sucker. Little mangrove snapper, y'all. I knew there had to be somebody. Uh-oh. Let's make sure we're in the shot. All right, so what I was saying is I knew there had to be something down there next to them rocks, and it just took downsizing this little fella. Actually, this ain't, I don't know. That don't, that don't look like a mangrove snapper, but it might be. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. No, 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 buddy, no. That's like a piggy perch, I think, man. Chill out, bro. Chill out, okay? Probably a piggy perch. I'm going to give you all a better look right there. Y'all tell me what that is, okay? I'm thinking a piggy perch. I honestly don't know the difference between a piggy perch, a mangrove snapper, and a pinfish. They may all be the same thing. I don't know. Sue me. <laughs> that right there. Just picked it up at the uh, fishing show, the clickbait shrimp. Like I said, I did catch pompano with this out here on the jetty. And maybe we get lucky, maybe we don't, but we did not get skunked, all right? We legitimately caught him in the mouth. 
All right, 11.44, y'all, midday update. Just did a battery swap. I'm gonna clean the lens off because I'm pretty sure a lot of that salt sea spray, yep, all over the lens. So you got everybody here at the end of the Surfside Jetty slinging anywhere between three to maybe one ounce spoons as far as we possibly can. The green water definitely is here now. It's not as clean as we would like it to be, but nonetheless, with it have come the jacks. We have seen several of them landed already, and today I am just hoping that it's going to be the day that we can at least hook into one long enough to feel worthy enough of the tug. And then if we get lucky enough, we'd be able to land it. And then that's it. That's the end of the jetty skunk. So uh, keeping the fingers crossed, don't hold your breath. You may pass out. It's a ray. I just saw it. It's a ray. You might as well come over here. It's going over. Yeah, you just, oh man, he's in them rocks. Oh yeah, yeah, that's me. Thanks, brother. It's my, my good luck charm. <laughs> any, any parting words, sir, what you like to say to your people? Yeah, maybe next time, bro. I, I, yeah, this is what, uh, trip number six? Trip number six. So, uh, uh -huh. seventh time's a charm. Seventh time's a charm. <laughs> Elegant. I'm about to leave, but I'm pretty sure as soon as I leave, I'm gonna watch Mark's vlog if you don't get a jacket. I'll, I'll message you. I'll know message it. you. I know it. And y'all wanna see what's happening again? I'm gonna need Yeah, take it easy, man. We'll do Just it again, uh, man. message me whenever you're gonna go back out. One of these days I'll get you on the uh, yeah, man. kayak or the skiff or something like that. Let's do it, bro. We, we go into the marsh or something like that, so. Let's do it, man. Yeah. Got him? Oh. Nah, I'm snagged. Oh my god, bro. You gotta be kidding me. I'll take it, man. There you go. On a tough day like this. Goodness gracious, bro. I've n <laughs> I have never ever caught a sheepy on a darn spoon, y'all. I'm hoping that I hope I'm recording. Oh my god. <laughs> and for the naysayers, look, that's in his mouth, man. Wow. Goodness gracious. Yeah, he did. Like, <laughs> he literally just hit it. I cannot believe this. All right. All righty, buddy. Yeah, let's get this fella back inside there. Being such a great sport. So those are pretty much, that, that's how my days have been. Um, we come out here for one species. Maybe if we go for sheep's head, we'll probably get lucky and catch a jack. I don't know. Either way, it's uh, good to be out here with the sun finally out, some of the rainy weather, the bad winds and everything else, just at bay long enough to come out here and enjoy the day, physically be able to catch something by way of hook in their mouth. So yeah, I'm stalling. Um, we've got one more battery left. So after this one, I don't know if I'll have another update for y'all. We may just end this one back in the office with the big camera. So uh, let's hope and keep these fingers crossed still that there's still a jack out there waiting to be caught. Holy cow, y'all. So I just got home. Well, I've been home for a little over a few hours, but when I got home, I was toasted. I was burnt and I passed straight out. That sun drained me completely. And uh, now I'm awake. We're importing footage back there into the Mac and just wanted to say it happens. <laughs> it happens and I'm probably not gonna go back out there for a while. It's gonna take somebody literally dragging me back out to the jetty because I will not get toasted again by them jacks. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. If you did, click that thumbs up button. Don't forget to go down into the video description below to check out fishing trips. What a great personality he is and a joy to actually fish alongside. Uh, he keeps everything humorous and uh, that's just what I needed for a day like this. So I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, tight lines y'all.